Cancer, what's going on, baby? Tell me what the answer is today. Putting pop, it is me, it is she, it is Vibra. Yes, it is. It is Lady Reds, it is Scorpion Reds, Tarot. Back in the building, back upon the place. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we're here to find out what energies we got surrounding the sign of Cancer for the month of February. For February, yes, ma'am. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies that clicked this video. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for all of the bookings. Thank you for all of the love donations that you guys have been sending. You guys, oh my god, I just got in the mail. Um, these two books. Oh, where's my other book? I just, you guys just sent me the merch, the Mercury Retrograde book, which is just in time. This one, as well as the, as the Moonology book, which I've already started reading. Thank you guys so very much for all of the love and the support that you guys have been sending to me through the Amazon wish list, especially books. Anyone that knows me, I am a reader and I don't even play. I got right into it. So I thank you guys so, so very much for just like all of the encouragement, just all of the love and light that you guys sent to me. Um, and I'm still studying the runes that you guys sent me. So like, don't think that I forgot about that. I am still studying the runes. Okay. So so it's just going to take me a while and I'm not going to bring them out until I feel comfortable with the runes. But you guys have just been just gifting me so heavily with so many different things that just helps me just like grow. So um, shout out to all my cancers. I know that you guys love learning new techniques and new skills. Anything that can help you get to the money. And y'all know we just had that new moon and what was that? Leo, I believe. And that new moon in Leo is all about making big bounds and leaps and transitions in regards to your finances and career. So shout out to all of my goddamn <laughs> cancers. I know anything that has anything to do with finances and career. I already know that y'all are on it. I already know that y'all was harnessing that new moon energy. Like, come on, bring it here. Bring me the money. Show me the money. Okay, this is the show me the money season. If y'all did not know, okay, this is show me the money this season. This is 2020 show me the money season. Shout out to all my cancer divine masculines that are out here y'all know that the 2020 is a divine masculine takeover okay so 19 was the year of the divine feminine takeover 2020 is the divine masculine show me the money takeover season so shout out to all of you guys if anyone wants to book or if you want to send any love to the page any donations through um cash app paypal or if you want to check out the amazon wish list which i did recently just update if you guys want to send like some just love that way if these videos resonate if it gives you any type of insight and you don't want to book a reading but you just want to send some love like all forms of communication is all on the about tab all right if you want to book a reading with me my book and price list is all in the description um once you receive uh once i receive the payment uh receipt i'm gonna contact you to select um the date that we're gonna um do the reading nine times out of ten i'm gonna try to do it the same day that i received the payment receipt so just make sure that y'all check y'all messages and make sure that y'all send me a message on instagram as soon as you book make sure that you send me a message on instagram and say hey reds this is me um, when can we set this up, you know, so we can get it rolling, okay? Or if you don't have Instagram, you can always reach out to me on Google Hangouts, okay? My email address is scorpionreds at gmail.com, which all of that information as well is all in the About tab. So let's get to the reading, you guys, because I'm running my mouth too damn much. All right, Cancer. I just feel so comfortable with you guys, you know? I just be running my mouth and shit. So we're going to say a quick prayer over the energy, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. You know, Cancers is one of my most favorite and beloved signs. I thank you so much for bringing us here as we fellowship, as we learn and grow in each one, teach one. We are holding each other's hand and we are walking in big strides and big steps and big leaps and big bounds. Like we're taking this steps we're taking these steps together we're growing together because i don't ever want anyone to ever feel like they're alone or to feel like they're unworthy of 
this success that is like ahead for us in our future because sometimes people are really scared of success like sometimes there are people that are strong enough that are go-getters that it's just like I'm going to do this and I'm da -da -da, and they're ready to just jump out there and just grab it and go and don't nobody got to tell them what to do you know some sometimes that could be good thing sometimes that could be a bad thing because some people jump out there too early and they act like damn crash dummies they don't even you know what i'm saying they just jump out and do anything you know what i'm saying and don't think and one thing i can tell you about a cancer cancers they definitely don't jump out there and do anything that they don't think is emotionally beneficial to them and sometimes they could be a little bit too precautious about things so when you see someone, especially when they got a light on them in the name of Jesus, when they got that light on them and they're scared, see, sometimes people, they're, they're, they're so com contained and they're so content in their environment, but your light you got on you, baby, is shining so much more than that environment, baby. They got you in a fish tank, baby. You were meant to be in the ocean. You admit they're stunting your growth in that fish tank, baby. Sometimes we got to grab our cancers and say, baby, you meant to be in the ocean, okay? You're meant to thrive in the ocean, not in the fish tank, baby. So, you know, that's why I say each one, teach one, no person left behind, you know? So for the ones that might be a little bit hesitant, a little bit scared to take that first step, that first step, which is the only step that is the most important, the first step, don't, don't worry about it, baby. I'm going to grab your hand. I got you. You ain't got to do this alone. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't got to do this alone at all. So I just want to send my love to all of my cancers because um, Reds is here for you, boo. Oh, points. I am reloaded. So we want to get into this energy. Father God, continue to keep us with our head held high high spirited listen turn our wi-fi all the way up to the highest frequency father god so that we can receive and believe and accept and send out all of that magical energy that you got for us father god and we gonna walk on the platform that got our name on all of them blessings we want all of it father god in the name of jesus amen we gonna keep it moving yes god let's get into this Let's get into this. Why am I just so super chatty, 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 chatty in the cancer reading? Reflection. It says, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith. All will work out for the best. So it looks like cancer is having a moment where um, someone in their life or even cancer their self might be going through an emotional moment where they're having to like purge. It looks like someone is crying. I don't know if this is cancer though. I don't I don't know why I don't feel like that's cancer. But it's someone that's having to understand that cancer needs some space for reflection. I don't necessarily think that cancer is trying to hurt anybody, but I feel like cancer needs space. Y'all know how cancer is when they it's like they wall someone out. Like that like that wall is up right now. What is it? Passion and magnetic and seductive quality surround you at present enjoy it so cancer don't ball someone out while they're getting some reflection but they're igniting a passion deep within them in regards to a new endeavor it looks like what is this if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for your heart is the gateway to your soul why is everyone getting these goddamn like, it's like the whole keyword, and I be shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and shuffling. And it's like everyone's kind of getting the same message a little bit. It's like, y'all got to really think about what's going on in your heart. You really have to know yourself before you can know someone else. You understand what I'm saying? Give me one more for my cancers, please. Give me one more. It says, give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and to have all your heart truly desires. Yes, Cancer. Yes, Cancer. Tell me the answer, baby. Let me know. Let me know. And what is this? It says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Create room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Yes. 
it's a lot of trees. Somebody is around a lot of trees. I don't know if y'all are just sitting outside a lot or if y'all just smoke a lot of trees or something and just sitting back thinking. That's honestly what I'm thinking. I'm feeling like someone like a little herbal tree, a little herbal tea. You know what I'm saying? Okay, a little herbal tree, a little herbal tea. I feel like they're really just sitting back having some reflective time. I definitely feel like there's someone that's hurt behind this reflective time. I'm not sure if it's the cancer crying or if it's someone that's dealing with the cancer crying. But there's someone that might be hurt because cancer needs space to sit back and think right now. I, uh, like about their heart's true desires. Like... Cancer has this passion lit up in them, something deep, and it's like they're ready to really give and receive it on a high level, and they want to make sure that their passion is focused on the right person and at the right place and at the right goddamn time. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Cancer has finally... I feel like stepped away from something and actually looking at the man in the mirror and looking at their reflection. What do I fucking want? No. No settling. We're not settling. 2020, we're not fucking settling. What do I want? What do I want? If I could do anything, what would it be? Fuck all this. What do I want? Okay? For your heart is the gateway to the soul. Do you understand? What is your soul's desire? Okay, and that's the and that's the thing, and that's why I'm so glad this last card came out, which I'm gonna read it first. It said, "Imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating the room for new possibilities and opportunities in your life. Anything that you think is is okay." I was meaning this one. It says, "Give." Thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all your heart truly desires. Do you understand? Whatever the fuck it is that you think might make you unworthy, that might make you feel like you're not good enough, that make you feel like you, whatever, whatever doubts that you may have in your mind, baby, you better wash that shit, clear the fuck away. Know that you deserve to be and to have all that your heart truly desires and give thanks right now for the blessings soon to come your way. Sit back and reflect and I'm serious, look in the mirror and say, what do I want? And continue to speak only on what you want and imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into life so it can create moon, room for all this new stuff, all of this new stuff, a passionate and seductive quality surrounds you. At the present, enjoy it. Come on now, you stepped away from something to get some reflection. Temperance, come on, Cancer. Woo, and you got the devil in the reverse. Hold on, did you walk away from all them toxic goddamn temptations? You don't even want it no more. It's not even interesting to you no more. Baby, that got replaced by temperance, by faith. You said, you know what? I walk by faith. I walk by faith. I walk by honor. I walk by integrity. I'm patient. You understand? Someone really figured out how to stop blocking their blessings by stop stressing their self, by getting their self mixed up in situations that they know were beneath them that only gave you a temporary satisfaction and long term misery someone learn how to keep their dick in their pants and or how to stop chasing dick a little bit and actually believe that they're able to receive the true blessings of what their heart really desires someone walked away from something someone said I love you but it's time to give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. It's time for reflection. Someone walked away so that someone could truly see their self. See their self. They were letting shit control them. Do you understand what I'm saying? They had to reevaluate <clears throat> their intentions. Their loyalty, their trust, and their faith. Sometimes when it come down to things, only thing God asks you to have is the faith of a mustard seed. No matter what he can tempt you with, no matter what he can give, it's only temporary. 
It's only temporary. Sometimes God say, baby, be patient and wait. And I want you to really see yourself and really understand the sense of value and, and understand who you are and what I put you here to be. And you can have everything that your heart truly desires. Just have faith, baby. And be patient. And be loyal. Be loyal. Don't let this motherfucker tempt you with temporary satisfaction, baby, and pull you away from me ever again, baby. In the name of Jesus, I say amen, honey. Amen. He said, can I get a refill? Can I get a refill to protect me from this? Because I don't want that no more. That has no power over me no more. You understand? Like, I done did the drugs, sex, and rock and roll. You know what I mean? I done, I done did the, like, I done did it. The two of chalices, I want a soulmate. I want my soul mate. The one truly designed for me. I fill your cup. You fill my cup. I begin and I end with you, baby. Do you understand? There's nothing. There's nothing else in between. I begin and I end with you, baby. And that's all I could all I could ever speak or all I could ever bear witness to. Only thing I see is you. Only thing I see is you. In the name of Jesus, yes, God, this is hung up. This person is hung up on this person. I'm hung up on you. I can't see myself going anywhere, anywhere. Sometimes you have to be turned upside down to see things from a different angle. And I see and I desire every one of your curves and every one of your words and the syllables that come out of your mouth, all of the smart things thoughts I just like to hear you the way you talk and you speak your thoughts are just so eloquent you're so smart you're so beautiful you're just so everything like this is someone fully entranced and engulfed in love do you understand completely hung up in a situation where it's like I willfully relinquish my ability you know what I'm saying I give it to it's like it's like literally Someone following faith and getting over their addictions so they can really attract true love and see things the way God intended them to see it. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is like someone seeing someone with, with a pair of eyes that they've never seen them before. The way that they should have seen them. You understand? Like having to take a double take. Like, hold on. Like, you know, like you see someone... For the first time, and you have to take a double take to make sure that you actually seeing what you're seeing. Oh, yes, baby. You are seeing what you're seeing, baby. Yes. She is stacked like that. She is all of that. Do you understand what I'm saying? You see how he is like, oh, my goodness. I could be right here forever. Exactly. Soulmate. 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 Come on now. What is this? The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands, that's interesting. And then the Nine of Swords in the reverse here. All right. And then you got the Knight of Wands. So, what this is basically telling me is someone feels like they're in some type of. I feel like they're looking out to see if there's some type of competition or someone that they're going to have to compete with for the affection of someone's love. Like, do you currently have a lover or someone that you are interested in that I might have to, um, like I say, uh, put up a fight with? Because, like, at the end of the day, I want to size up my competition. Like, that's basically what it is. It's like, I don't know. If this is someone that's watching someone that is single and that's dating or something like that. Someone that they view as their soulmate that they're hung up on. Um, someone that they had to fight through temptation and work through a lot of obstacles and truly looks like walking out on faith here. It's like they're looking to... See if there's anything else in the way that they might have to handle because whatever thoughts that might have been blocking them in the past, I just feel like they can't even bear it anymore. It's like I can't even think about this shit no more. I've been craving to touch this person. I want to I wanna have this person in my life like... My day ends with you. My night ends with you. Every time I wake up, I think about you. When I go to bed, I can't stop thinking about you. Even in my dreams, it's like I can't.
think about this no more. I need to move on this. Like, I have to, like, I can't, like, oh, my God. Like, even my body, it's like, I'm just like, ah. It's like, I wish I could feel how I'm feeling. It's like, I just can't contain this shit no more. Like, I have to, I have to do something. It's like, I can't just sit back and keep waiting for to see if the coast is clear, if it's finally okay to, to move. Like, I feel like someone has been... What's at the bottom of the deck? It's like the justice is in the reverse. And then you got the six of chalices as well. And you got the six of chalices and then you got the king of swords. I'm not about to go through and read the whole fucking deck. But I feel I definitely feel okay. So let me take that. They told me to take that out because that makes that means something. Okay. So with the king of swords, I definitely feel like this person is a male energy. They've most definitely cut themselves out of a situation with um like I don't know, like maybe a lover that they were dealing with. I, I, with this okay so with this king of swords it's like i feel like this man has a a representation where he's like a bachelor where he keeps a group of lovers or something like that and you see this other woman you see the woman looking through the window like she knows that like she's aware of his kind of like playboy lifestyle or something like that like i told you this is someone that had to get over um, it could even be a sexual addiction. It might very much so be a sexual addiction. I don't, I'm not going to say I don't believe in sexual addictions. I do people, I believe people have sexual addictions, but I don't think that this person had a sexual addiction. I just feel like this person did not have a desire to control their self. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, well, I got an opportunity to do this. I'll do it. I'll fucking deal with the consequences later. It's just like being reckless. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they could have very much controlled herself. But at the end of the day, if you had a flatter, someone flattering you and an admirer, it's like, why not give into the intention? So, you know what I'm saying? Like not being able to give into temptation. So like this person is already known for that you know what i'm saying but this person is always kind of let it be known that they kind of have this bachelor lifestyle it's like take it or leave it a little bit like they're handsome they got a lot going for themselves and you know i feel like they're very charming individuals they're very charming individuals but at the same time like this woman this woman sees you for what they for what you are and i don't know if she cut herself out of your life or your actions may have cut her out of your life, but um, I definitely see that it was something where there had to be some reflection and there had to be some balance there. And, 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 you, and yeah, it's with this justice card in the reverse, this person fears because I feel like of this I don't know maybe in the past if the person that you were married to because you know that the king of swords is a bachelor is a, is a widowed man so um what's a divorced man just someone that is just not attached he's not a married man so um I don't know if like maybe this man tried in the past to be um try to play like the king of pentacles almost was trying to be like a family man or something but he couldn't get over his bachelor's ways and like this person got caught and the woman seen this person doing something and messing with a a younger woman or something like that like while they were supposed to be doing something else like i'm looking in the window and i'm seeing you in there with sally sue or whoever the hell this is and it's like um I don't think that those acts were really forgiven and I don't know if this person knows if they will ever be forgiven for that but at the same time I definitely feel like they have worked through those kind of player bachelor ways and I do feel like this person might want to seek forgiveness but they still feel with this justice being in the reverse like um he he doesn't he don't he doesn't see how she would ever forgive him. You know what I'm saying? It's like how could she ever see me for anything other than someone being like this? Do you understand? Like I don't feel like she will forgive me, but that's his soulmate. That's the one that he changed and he did all of this shit for. 
that's the one that he's watching to see if she's dealing with anyone. That's the one that's driving him crazy. That's who he starts his day with and ends his day with. This is the one. You know what I'm saying? But remember, it says, know that you know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. This is what you desire. So stop telling yourself that this person won't forgive you. Stop telling yourself that. This Six of Cups in the reverse, this is, I mean, not in the reverse, it wasn't in the reverse, it was in the upright. This Six of Cups, this is someone that looks back with a lot of longing memories of like when y'all were together and wishes that those dreams could come back true again. Like this is definitely someone that this person has been with before and it looks like they went through a lot to change their toxic behavior and their low vibrational thinking and even them feeling like this person won't forgive them that's still something that they need to work on you know what I'm saying feeling like you don't deserve to have everything that your heart truly desires even based on your past actions if you repented and you work through like this is someone that literally battled their demons for this love for this person that they keep looking back at and it's like they don't see nothing but love like even even the dirty socks like I've just realized like in the other reading I just did the dirty socks like it's like this person loved my dirty socks like loved me down to my dirty socks like I didn't even have to pick up after myself like this person catered to me loved me worshipped everything like you know what I'm saying and it's like this person looks back at these memories and just really feels at home really that's why I'm getting it's like this person feels at home this person feels at home and I see this scroll right here it's like they I don't know if it's like someone's going to receive a letter or someone wrote a letter it's just like literally and it might be them airing out their dirty laundry as well like literally telling the truth and hoping for forgiveness because with this justice in reverse right here it's like they just feel like their life is not balanced until you like kind of forgive them or until they get forgiveness or you, you you understand what I'm saying it's like this person loved me down to my dirty socks like I don't know like this person is still looking at pictures this person might still have your bracelet or something like that that you gave them um I feel like this person still has the bracelet that you gave them Shit, and I heard and your dirty socks and <laughs> your old ass socks. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Like it's I heard about breaking the leaves. Something about breaking the leaves. Because you see like how it's like all of the dead leaves like all over the place, like all over the yard or something like that. It's like they, they, they need to clean their yard. You know what I'm saying? So it's like um, in order for new blessings to come to me, it's time for me to clean my yard out. Making more space. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and uh, possibilities for your life. So it's time for you to clean out your yard, you know, and make space for this to grow. Because it's like you're hung up on this. That's your soulmate. You know who cares and knows who their soulmate is. And they've been looking and they've been watching to see if there's competition. And they're tired of thinking. They're ready to move forward. It's time. No more waiting. Past life relationship. I told you this is someone that they've been in a relationship with already. This is someone that they've already experienced this love. They've already stamped it. They've already stamped it. I know who my soulmate is. It's like, there's no point of looking. That's why I said, like, looking at the man in the mirror, like, 
what do you want like what do you want if you want it it's time to go what the fuck you think this person is gonna you just gonna keep watching this person go to keep dating other people or what the fuck are you gonna do what is this heart to heart conversation you see how i'm saying it's like this heart to heart conversation this is in the reverse it's like Literally, I, I feel like there's a heart to heart conversation that this person is nervous about having with someone in the past life, but it's something that needs to be addressed because you need to. It's like they have to ask for some level of forgiveness, they really, really do. They really, really do. Past life, past life, forgiveness from shit in the past. Heart to heart conversation. Someone's scared to ask for forgiveness. Like it's like, but you gotta do it. It's like you gotta face it. It's gonna make you stronger. It's gonna make everything. It's gonna make everything better. Do you understand? Playfulness. And I bet you, as soon as you reach out, you probably scared and everything. And I bet you, as soon as you reach out, y'all probably gonna pick right back up, joking, laughing, lighthearted, playful, like. Whoever this was, I feel like y'all were like best friends or something like that. Like, y'all might have known each other for a very long time. I feel like since you guys were teenagers, like these are teenagers. Like, y'all might have known, like you might have always like thought this person was beautiful or just handsome ever since y'all were like in high school or, you know, ever since y'all was in y'all younger 20s or some shit. Look, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You already know who you love. You already know what you desire. Like you broke the mold, really. Because I don't think that even you thought that you could do this, like defeat this devil like this. It's like you prayed over that shit so much, fighting your toxic addictions and you fighting your old ways and your old patterns. It's like I can't do this shit no more. Like I am, I am not happy you know what i'm saying this shit is only temporary it brings me more more pain than pleasure you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day true love you want true love true love confirmation true love this is a romance of a lifetime and you know that shit and very soon very soon oh my god you guys give me one more Give me one more. Then it says, could you decide what you want now so that it comes to you? Give me one more for my cancer. And it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic. Continue reaching for it. It says, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Do not let the devil get at you because the devil wants you to be scared. The devil don't want you to put all those unwanted thoughts into the light and create one for new opportunities. You understand? The devil don't want you. Look again. Let me show you. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. What I told you, this shit is coming very soon. Y'all think I'm playing with y'all? God, I'm not playing with y'all. Listen, don't. I feel like, honestly, like, once y'all talk about this shit in the past, like, y'all might just fucking laugh a little bit. I don't even feel like, I'm not saying that the person don't take it serious because whatever happened in the past was serious. But I feel like you guys both learned so much from each other and from the situation. It's like, I feel like there's this lightheartedness where, like, y'all are, like, best friends. Like, y'all could kind of, like, laugh at it and just say, lessons learned. And y'all can kind of, like, openly talk about. Remember, I said this, this, like, it's like airing your laundry out. It's like, I don't feel like it's going to be, it's going to be, it's like you're talking to your best fucking friend almost. You know what I'm saying? It's like, y'all just kicking it, kind of catching up. And even though it was some fucked up shit from the past, like, so much time has gone from there. It don't have that, like, y'all could actually sit down and talk about it mature. And not had the emotion on the table. And it's different. You understand? And it's like really like starting all over. It's not. I don't think it's going to be what this person thinks it's going to be. You understand? Like it's not. It's not. Know that you deserve to be and to have all that your heart truly desires. Give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. 
understand every time every second that you're wasting that's the devil getting on you it's like that devil don't want you to have that balance of faith that devil don't want you to believe that shit but it's like he better believe it because you're moving forward you're not waiting anymore this person is not waiting it is driving them crazy like this person thinks about touching you it's like an absolute nightmare them feeling like they're paralyzed it's like they're mentally paralyzing their self making them feel for whatever reason that's the devil though that's the devil because the devil ain't gonna let you see how much you have grown in the present only thing the devil want to do is remind you of the past and to make you feel like oh this person is not gonna accept me this person is not gonna forgive me this person is not gonna hear me out but at the end of the day only thing you can do is put your positive energy out there and pray for positive results and stay in faith and stay balanced exactly like you're doing with that temperance. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the devil get control of your mind and stuff like that. Don't don't do that. So anyway, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going here. I just seen that observer car popped out. <laughs> I just seen that observer car pop out. Let's see what's going on in this situation in love. With cancer. Cancer said I broke the mold. He said I never thought I could. I never thought I would be able to do it. Like cancer did. Look mute. They want someone to take them off of mute. Like they can't see you. Like. It's like they it's like okay, so Cancer just told me like I I I'm trying to communicate with you but I can't even see your face. Like you won't take me off a block. Like whoever the fuck this is that Cancer is dealing with, Cancer can't find you to communicate with you because you got them blocked. So why don't you unblock Cancer? Okay, cause Cancer can't even see you. <laughs> they can't even fucking speak to you. Okay? Take them off a fucking block. What is this? Listen, they can't take no action because you got them on block and they can't even see you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, take them off a block and maybe things will fly that way. What is this? Surrender. Cancer wants you to surrender, you guys. And Cancer seems to be surrendering as well. Cancer is at a crossroads right now. And they want to end the cycle. They want to end this cycle. It's like they... Okay. So, number one, take the block off. Take the block off. Because at the end of the day, like y'all are at a crossroads and y'all need to end this cycle. And I feel like the both of y'all need to surrender to this shit. Because this shit needs to be ended so that things can move forward. Ever by there just being closure and y'all just being able to have a good hearted laugh. And not... Live your life with animosity of, oh, well, I got this ex, or I got this person from my past. They broke my heart. I never got closure. They did this. Like, at least, like, even if don't nothing come out of it but y'all being able to give each other a hug and just be like, you know what, shit, remember this? Remember we did this? Remember that? Well, shit, you know, my life been like this since then, and it, it, as crazy as it was, but I felt like we taught each other so much. And for that, like, I don't hate you. You know what I'm saying? And I wish you the best. Like, sometimes it's just it's just good to just know that even if we're not together, like, I don't hate you. And I can rest easy just knowing that I wish you the best and you wish me the best. And we've both moved on in our life. And we're good. And we're at a good place with each other. And we found peace and closure. Do you understand? Like, sometimes you got to go forward with things with no expectations because when you don't expect anything you can't be disappointed and it's like when you just honestly and genuinely just are happy to see someone from your past and just happy to know that they're well and they wish you well and and things are just good like that's the best energy to leave off with do you understand what i'm saying so it's like i feel like the both of you guys need to surrender to the to the fact that Y'all are going to stay in these crossroads in y'all life where I feel like y'all are not going to find this place of peace and happiness until y'all close this cycle. You know what I'm saying? And then both 
both parties need to just I need I feel like be open to the conversation because right down the middle baby you got love like right there and I really want to say with this playfulness it's like y'all are fucking best friends and then it says the answer is yes when I split the deck and this is numbing this person. It's like, number one, I feel like this shit is driving the cancer crazy because the cancer can't even talk to you because they can't see you. You're blocked. And I feel like the answer is going to be yes, cancer. So hopefully whoever this is sees this video and they take the block off and you're able to get your yes answer. Because I really do feel like you reach it out. For communication, I don't feel like you're going to be denied. I don't really feel like it's going to be as bad as you think it is. This conversation is not. Give me guidance on this conversation. Give me guidance right here on this conversation, please. On this heart to heart conversation that cancer is scared to have. It says the answer is no. It said the answer is yes, and then the answer is no. So, what the fuck? Tell me why the answer is no. It says devotion in the reverse. So, okay. So, I feel like the reason... I feel like the conversation will be had. But whatever. Like, I think if maybe we are trying to get back together. I feel like the answer is no. Because whoever this person is feels like you, you have a lack of devotion. And and they, they need to be sure that you learned your lesson. I don't... That's why I said the answer is yes and the answer is no. I don't think that the answer is yes or no. I just feel like the situation is dry right now. This person wants to see if you still have that lack of devotion or if you learned your lesson. What is this? That's why they haven't taken your ass off a of pause. You understand what I'm saying? So, I don't feel like... The, and, and where the fuck did that yes and that yes car go? Listen, the answer is yes and the answer is no. So, I'm putting that right there because I'm not... I gotta take that. Because the answer is yes because the flame is still there. But it's dry. You understand what I'm saying? Because... The thing was, remember, I told you there was no devotion. I told you that the lady pulled up on her man and the motherfucker. Listen, she pulled up on her king and then, and then with, 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 oh, honey boo. You understand what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I'm not about to tell you yes. I'm not to tell you no. I will tell you that I will surrender to us meeting at this crossroads to have a conversation to close this cycle up. Let's see. You understand what I'm saying? Let's see. Because ain't no point in let's keep going round and round in these motherfucking cycles and shit. Let's close out this shit in the past so we can move forward. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to tell you yes. I'm not about to tell you you know. One thing I will tell you, though, is this shit going to be on pause. And I'm going to keep that shit on pause. All right? How about I'm going to take the block off? I'm going to take the block off. All right? I need to see and know for sure that you learned your lesson. And you don't still harbor this lack of devotion. So I'm not going to tell you yes. I'm not going to tell you no. Okay? All right, so that's the conversation, and at the end of the day, I think I think cancer would be satisfied with that. Like I'm not telling you yes, and I'm not telling you no, cause it's like I want to believe you, but you gotta show me the money. Show me the money. You gotta show me the motherfucking money over right here, okay? So let me just motherfucking not, okay? Uh, have you on block anymore? <laughs> okay. All right, so whoever this is. Maybe they're willing not to take things off a pause. Ooh, this summer. I feel like things are going to have... I feel like y'all are going to have a nice summer, Cancer. Y'all are going to have... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Baby, that soulmate card just popped out like goddamn hot grease, bitch. That motherfucking soulmate card just popped out like hot grease. And then you got the inner child card that just popped out, baby. Woo, honey. That soulmate card popped out like hot grease. Woo, hun. See, baby. Baby, 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 baby. I'm going to tell you what, Cancer. I feel like by the summertime, you're going to be, I'm down on bending deep. Until you come, until you come back to me, I'm down on bending knees. 
Hold on. So many nights I dream of you. I can't sing. Holding my pillow tight right now. And need to be Ah! Hold on. No, no. trying to figure out the words and sing that shit with me too. Bitch, I ain't heard that song since high school. What? Holding my pillow tight right now. Yes, bitch! Come on, hold on. I had to go off. Come on, my 80 baby. Don't act like y'all did not just go off with me, bitch. Come on. Holding my pillow tight. Bitch, come on! This so bad. I'm about to go get my pillow right now. Don't you do me, bitch. Okay, let me calm down. Let me calm the fuck on down. Y'all tell me. Father God, please tell me. <laughs> mm, I'm down on bent and knee. What was this that just fell? There's a surprise. Then we got soldier. And then we got infantism. So, okay. But the surprise means wish granted, baby. There's a surprise. I feel like there's going to be a wish granted, but at, at the same time, it looks like there's a soldier. I, I, I feel like there's going to be a wish granted and whatever it is that you've been down on bending knee praying for, but this person is still going to be a soldier. Like they are still going to, like I say, show me the money. You got to show me the money. I'm not telling you yes. I'm not telling you no. You have to show me that you learned your lesson and that you are committed to devotion. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this childish shit. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear, oh, well, I'm like this because my parents did this and I didn't have a father and this, this, and that, and my baby mother did this. I don't want to deal with none of that immature ass bullshit. Motherfuckers not willing to take up for their responsibilities of their grown ass actions. You are not a child. Or not a child. Okay? So, like, at the end of the day, and then, like, the number eight represents taking, taking authority, and then this represents the affinity sign. So, as soon as you stop acting like a fucking child and recognize that this person is a soldier, that this person has been enough, that they have a right to be guarded and to protect themselves, you going to get everything. I mean, it's just a surprise. I feel like you're going to get the surprise of your life. Oh, gosh. What is this? It said widow. Widow, I feel like whoever this person is that you are looking at, you might think that they're with someone, but it looks like they're actually not with anyone at all. They might have just went through a breakup or something like that because um, the number 44, it looks like this woman, she's focused on her stability. She more focused on... Look, she got that hat right there where she looked, she looked, she just bought her outfit with the match that hats that come in the little fancy box and shit. Like, this girl is focused on new stability and her priorities and things like that. Like, this is a person, she is a pillar of truth, fact, and information. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like she carries herself in appropriate attire based on whatever her profession is. She dresses like her profession. So, if she's a lawyer, she dresses like a lawyer if she's a football uh coach lady you know she dresses like that if she's a soccer mom she dresses like a soccer mom if you know she's a teacher or a secretary she dresses like like whatever if she's someone that works uh 
and does like engineering or something like IT she dressed like an IT person but like she wears her hat well do you understand what I'm saying like she's always it's like she can look herself in the mirror without worry like her karma slate is clear she don't go around lying on nobody she don't go around cheating on nobody like she just is what it is do you understand and I feel like whatever she has in her life like she got it honestly oh we got the wedding card we got the wedding card. So whoever this woman is that's alone, that's widow, that's been wearing this hat, that changed her role, babies, you're going to be getting married soon. You're going to be getting married soon. I don't know who this person is in this cancer reading. I don't know if this is... Listen, whoever the female energy is in this cancer reading, you're getting married. You won't be alone anymore. You're getting married. The four. Oh my God. You got the 44. On top of the widow. With you having this fancy ass outfit. With the matching hat. And the marriage card. With the five of hearts. Girl. I don't know if you changed your attire. If you just are more dressed up. You you carry yourself with a, a certain level of excellence now. But. It's like, I feel like your wedding dress is going to be the prettiest fucking dress I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. It's, it's like you deserve it. You deserve it. Do you understand? I feel like your appearance, it's something like the way this person went and cleansed herself up and made it so that her foundation is stable and she could look in the mirror very comfortably every day and she dressed and she looked a part of all her gain and all of her success. It's like. When you walk down your wedding aisle, you deserve that dress. You deserve that pearly white, beautiful, that long train. Just like, oh my God, like, you're going to get every fucking thing. It says, trip to the country. This is 33. So, this is someone that is like, the four of... Clubs represent someone getting a new job. Um, so you might be relocating in regards to a job or just getting like a new workspace. You might be getting like a new office or something like that. Or you just have like work security. Um, I feel like whoever this is has work security now and, and enough where they can take little trips now and then if they want to. You know what I'm saying? Like they have vacation. They have like seniority you know at a job or something like that where like there's job security and there's a like a lot of travel or there's going to be a lot of travel in this relationship I feel like these people bounce off of each other creatively I feel like they might invest in a business together or they share a lot of who this relationship they talk a lot like again they keep saying they are each other's best friends they need each other creatively like the four legs of a table it's like they each one of them fit the part it's just like they balance each other and they balance basically whatever this is this is telling me that these people work together very well and it's going far you know a long a, a trip to the country like this is going very far and there's going to be a lot of travel in this relationship because I feel like it helps them grow. Um, it helps them grow. It helps them laugh. It helps them love each other. They like adventure. They like to they like talking. It's like they just like talking. <laughs> like they like talking to each other and having shit to talk about. So it's like let's let's give them something to talk about. Okay, let's give them something to talk about. The consultant. This is the three of diamonds right here. So I feel like this man might have got some type of spiritual help, um, spiritual advice, spiritual advisor. They might have got some type of counseling, um, whatever it was to kind of help them get a better sense of value so that they could be the best person that they could be. Um, even in regards to this business situation, I feel like um, 
whatever business or something that y'all were putting together this might might be going to go get a consultant to try to help y'all start your business or something like that like to get a a loan to um start your business to get your business off of the ground or something like that I feel like that's why y'all are traveling for. I just heard a dispensary business. Okay, I am reloading. Like, I feel <laughs> it's like you guys, um, it's like y'all outsource for some type of merchandise. It's like y'all outsource for something. So I feel like y'all take trips or something to go check on your merchandise to see how any very much so could be like a grow dispensary or something like that like you invested in a certain uh grower like you like their marijuana strands and stuff like that so you invested in shares into the like mar the marijuana industry is big business and it's like shit we smoke you smoke i smoke right why the fuck we keep driving all the way out here to motherfucker? Let's look, let's motherfucker see how much it costs to like invest in this shit so we can become partner and shit like that. You like shit, like yeah, 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 motherfucker. So it's like next time y'all go out there, it's like man, listen, we just got married. Alright. We trying to go into business. We would like to go into business with you. So we're thinking about adding you into the fold. Like, what's up? Let's see what's going on. Protector. Protector. The protector card. The protector card. I love this. Like this person. Whoever this man is. Instead of them being the king of swords. Where it was like. See the, the, the king of swords is supposed to be a protector. An advisor. A visionary. If you will. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like. They're the ones that you come to for advice. They're the ones that you come to 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 lay down the law do you understand what i'm saying so i don't feel like this person was really stepping up in that role and they were trying and i guess this man was trying to be something he wasn't because the, like i said the king of swords is a single man he doesn't he goes by his own rules he doesn't do you understand what i'm saying so now in this role he's the king of well he's the well okay so the king of clubs is like the king of it's like the king of wands and like the king of wands and the king of pentacles all together because clubs represent work and, and represent your work environment someone being athletic someone being skilled do you understand but that also represents Wands. Am I saying this right? I feel like I'm saying it fucked up. So, clubs represent hard work. Do you understand? Which also represents the pinnacle. The pinnacle represents someone's sense of value, someone's work, someone's effort that they're putting into, into something. But... The clubs can also represent wand energy, which that's passion, that's athlet the athleticism, that's being action oriented, that's being driven. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it, it takes the the time and the effort and the action and just mashes it all in one. So instead of you just being this smart analytical know-how, this person of that you can just get this research, I mean research yeah this is a person that will go and research your motherfucking ass okay they will research i told you they will research your motherfucking ass but it's like this person isn't just that it's like yeah i'm smart and all of that but at the same time i'm not just relying and chilling back on my knowledge like i'm actually out in the streets i'm willing to get my hands dirty like that's like Someone that represents clubs, someone that is willing to plant seeds like a farmer, like an engineer, or, you know, someone that's willing to get their hands dirty, someone that's willing to go out there and sweat, build, work, strive for it. You understand? Someone that's willing to protect this shit. So, you know, this woman, she's going to go from a widower to a wife to, it looks like, a business owner. <laughs> Where they're going to see a small amount of success and also the three of 
diamonds represent a small amount of money so that means that y'all might get a small loan and you got your man here as the protector it's the king of clubs right there the king of clubs this is something like this is someone like very popular always like having people smiling very funny very witty um everyone likes to be like the king of the club like Mr. Popular, like, everyone knows that guy. You know what I'm saying? Everyone loves that guy, you know? Like, kind of run this shit a little bit. What is this? Weakness. Weakness. Okay, you got weakness right here. But I feel like this has to do... Wait a minute. Fright. And then tenderness. Okay, all right. Now that's saying something. That's saying something. So, <laughs> this has something to do with a child. This has something to do with this motherfucking child, bruh. It's got something to do with this child. With this lady with this child. This nightmare. It's nightmare. It's okay. So, the one thing that is bothering this person, we're going to end it off here, okay? The one thing that is the reason why this cancer feels like... Because remember, they're not saying in the beginning, didn't they have to walk away from something? It says, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Reflection. And remember, I said in the beginning, I feel like... There was someone that cancer was needing some space from at the moment. Because they were having trust and faith that all would work out for the best. And that they needed some time for reflection and that someone was crying. So I don't know if that is the person that they left in the past. That they're reflecting on how they hurt that person. If they left someone presently and they need some space because they need to reflect on their life to figure out what they really want because I could have sworn I said that I could have sworn I fucking said that shit but this is something that's going on in the background I feel like the cancer is sick and they're frightened they're sick and they're frightened man this is the fucking eight of motherfucker uh this is someone that the eight of spades represents someone being incarcerated someone being trapped you know sickness something that makes them weak i feel like the only thing that makes them weak and the thing that um is like that they feel like can ruin them is someone taking their kid from them and that's the only thing that that is the only thing that frightens them that's the only fucking thing that frightens them it's the thought of someone taking their kid from them the thought of someone taking their kid from them. And it's like they've been trapped in a situation because of their fears. Because, like, that would ruin them. Like, that would ruin them. That would ruin them. It would really, 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 really ruin them. And it's been like the Reaper, like, lurking over top of them. It's like someone is, like, threatening to take their child from them. Like, this child is their heart and their soul. And, like, this is something that worries them to no end. It's like, that's why they need to have this reflection and all of this stuff like that. That's why they need to have this reflection and stuff like that. Y'all let me know what's going on with this here, alright? Y'all let me go. But, yeah, there's somebody that is, like, someone's trying to, someone's threatening to take their child from them. And it's making them sick. It's making them sick. But I don't feel like and that and that's that devil control too. That's this right here. And that's why it's like I'm I'm still moving in faith. I'm not letting that shit control me. Like you try to take my child from me and I'll see your ass in court. And bitch, you we'll see if you see your fucking child. Don't play with me. We don't feel the devil around here, baby. At the end of the day, this person said he's a protector and he definitely said he got a consultant right there. So the damn sure look like a lawyer. So I don't know who the fuck they fucking with. And um, whoever this person is that they're in love with, I don't think their wife going to play around like that. Like their, their wife is not going to play around like that neither. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't feel like have no fear. <laughs> like have no fear. 
Have no fear. Do what your heart is telling you to do. What your heart and your mind is designed to tell you to do right now. Move and continue to walk on faith. And whoever this is that has cancer on mute and they can't see you, they can't find you to send any communication, would you take this person off of mute, please? Thank you. Bye. I'm gone.